part two. My alarm went off and messed up the video, so I'm not re-recording 45 minutes of me going on, so we're just going to say part two. Um, again, we signed up for all of it. We're here for what we're here for. We're here to have an experience. We're here to experience things for the most high. And uh, we're very fortunate to have this role. We should be grateful and thankful for it. And we should thank him every day and be grateful and make gratitude lists about what we're grateful for and to, to get us in the right vibration and the right mindset because we don't want to be in a state of lack or anger or anything of the sort. We need to be in uh, joy, abundance, um, acceptance at least that um, this is our, our role in life and we're here for a temporary time. And the only thing that makes suffering real is time. And time isn't real either. So what's, what is it really? It's, it's all if we step far enough out it's all make believe right and that's it's, it's all make believe too so that's kind of everything if that is what is real I don't know Morpheus said what is real I don't know everything and nothing at the same time but you know we have to be able to step into our roles here and to know that those of us who have accepted the call again have agreed to it we're here to have an experience and it's going to be awesome on the one o'clock um, it's, it, it's, it's really amazing and we're going to look back you know, in, in the near future and go wow that was incredible Look at, and we'll be able to help others to come up because they'll see the path that we've walked and what we've overcome and you know, we're, going to, we're leading by example we're, we're leading the pack by example and showing them how certain things can be done and um, how things are how we're supposed to be you know? and we have to we have to become that that uh, that thirteenth warrior, one four four on the clock. Uh, we have to become the Christ again, which is the thirteenth warrior, which is basically overcoming every sign in the zodiac has something attached to it that we're to overcome. Um, food, whatever it may be, right? Overcoming the the lower selves so that we can become the masters. Um, and if you're again, if you're anything like me, you've done this before in some sense and gotten out of here already and you came back to have another experience um, and we're set when we leave here it doesn't even matter we like science as far as I can tell I, I understand we came here two to two and o'clock um, we agreed part of the contract is that when we leave here we're out and like we're good we're not being stuck in this place right because you could get stuck in this nonsense but anyways it doesn't matter because we're going to ascend anyway and we're all those of us who need to are raising our vibration up to send out of here again so you know, just um, treat others how you want to be treated. Be the change you want to see in the world. Love others. Help others set boundaries. Um, don't let people walk over all over us. If we have a good heart, we've probably dealt with that our entire life. People have walked all over us, and they thought we're stupid or something, and it's like, wow. I, mean, I, I told people recently, I was like, um, I told my dad when I cut him off, my, my, my biological dad, I said, I can see you. I said, I, I've always known when you're lying. I, always, I can read you like a book. You think you're getting over on me? You're not. You know, have a nice life. Love you guys, but I do it from over here because I, I can't, I can't be a part of that anymore. I can't. And I, again, I was led to do this. I was led to step out. And when I was told to get rid of these people, I wrote a letter, and I did some uh, rituals, and I cut them out. That was it. You know, um, Latin spells and things like that, and just cut it, cut it, cut it, cut the cord. And some of them were more difficult than others. You know, uh, I've got. Uh, Two little girls that can't come with me right now, as I understand it, and I'm following what I've been told. And that took a lot for me to accept because that was like one of the most important things in my life. But however, when when somebody else is raising, when somebody else made choices in life that caused our relationship to break up, although I played a part in this too, but this was some rather big thing. So, and they go and they, you know, they take the offspring with them so that they have them I think I figured out I had them like 12% of the time it was just it was very unhealthy because it was such a small amount of time and like it was just everyone was crying and it was always like as soon as they got used to being with me they had to go back and we had different beliefs and we raised them differently and you know when, when, the, when, when this other individual has them most of the time then they're going to be able to program their mind most of the time and so I was fighting an uphill battle and they were essentially tied to to her energetically and um, some of these people are energy vampires. They don't even realize it, maybe, but they are. And they're doing spell work without even realizing, and also by intent, and having hateful thoughts, four, four, four on the clock. Um, and I can feel all this. Being an empath, being that there is no physical separation, there is no distance between anything here. It's all in the, in the etheric. 
there is no physical distance. So it might help to get away from people, but like we have to also cut ourselves off from them in thoughts also as well. And we can't think about them. And, you know, you, you ever use a phone or like when you had a house phone or even with mobile phones and you call, you think about someone and then you go to like, this used to happen with the, the landlines. You pick up the phone and they were already on there. Like it was perfect timing, right? Or they had just called. Um, that's because we're all connected psychically. Like we are all connected. We are all one. So like when we can really tune in we can connect with anybody. We have to be careful who we're connecting with because some of these people we don't want to connect with. We don't want that connection. We don't want our energy being drained. Again, where our attention goes, energy flows. So if we're sending energy to some darker beings, whether or not they realize that, that they are that or energy vampires, then we're going to be sucked dry. And uh, we may have physical manifestations of these things like a rash or anything like that or you know, feeling tightness or whatever. It's all energy, man. There's nothing in the body. It's all energetic. Every single bit of it is energy. Energy, inner key, inner wisdom, inner strength, inner power. Um, we are gods and goddesses again. It's time for us to wake up to our divine calling and who we're intending to become. And because it's not just for us, it's to also help others who are coming after us. Again, both in bloodline and in the world. We will be helping people to, those of us that are way ahead of the curve, the curve is shortening so those other beings are going to catch up and when they do there's going to be a lot here for them to step up onto and that's what things you know, I didn't understand this at first I don't understand that I thought oh well, am I doing something wrong because you know there's not that many people and no it's being set up right now it's a setup everything's being the, the path is being paved so that others can follow and uh, there will be a lot of people to follow some won't it's up to them right some will stay in the, the material litter Material litter, litter, all garbage realm, and uh, they'll pretty much phase themselves out. So you know, so be it. We were all just thoughts in the mind of God. We're living in the mind of God right now. The Earth isn't flat or round or flat or hollow or concave. It's all of them. It's all of them. whatever you see. NASA is not some making some giant conspiracy going. Like, oh, they're all in on it. They all know that space is fake. No, like it's a belief realm. So whatever you believe is what you see. It took me a long time to realize this, but. We see what we believe. That's it. Whatever you see inside, whatever you believe is what you're going to see on the outside because it is a projection. It's a Luciferian projection. Lucifer is like the light realm. It's the, the physical realm. It's nothing to do with Satan. It's nonsense. Um, again, Lucifer brings the light. The light, well, the light filters through us and then comes out through our eyes once it filters through our, our subconscious or bodies, whatever you want to call it, and it's projected out. This, what you see outside of you is literally a projection. And um, again, Luchi Fairy, which would be Fairy, would be carrier of, and um, Luch or Luke, like Star Wars, would be light. So, bringer of light, carrier of the light, right? Christopher, Christo Fairy is carrier of Christ. Go figure. Um, it's, a, it's a light realm, it's a sound realm, and it's all projection. It's a dream realm. You're in a dream. Welcome. Um, it's a recurring dream, but it is a dream. There's no, even CIA documents even back this up now, right? Um, they knew it's all dream. They knew it's projection. And again, it's why they've, these forces have been so adamant about controlling our thoughts and what goes on because when we awaken, it's over for all of them. I mean, I've, I've watched some.